Jen. And I'm Michael. Today we got Magical Unicorn Quest. Yeah. That's what I've been like. That's like the that's song, your song that yeah. I, I created. For With the Magical game. Unicorn Booger. With my, this is now, my that's mascot. Now, not, <laughs> not included in the game. Not included. So, He's just my mascot. He actually comes in squeezables if you, if you want <laughs> one of those. Different game. Different so, game. <laughs> Uh, Magical Unicorn Quest from Flame Point Games. Yes. Plays, uh, how many players does this play? It pl- two to six players, 20 minutes. So. Yay. Yay. So, um, what we're going to do is we are each going to get six cards, each of us. Okay. And we are trying to have both the Magical Unicorn and the Golden Unicorn in our personal stable, stable yes. at the same time. Mm. Yes. That's so, a goal, and if you do that, you win, right? That's right. That's it. Right. So, <laughs> um, the last player to eat cotton candy goes first. Probably uh, you. It's been a while, but it's sure. Been... <laughs> so, at the start of your turn, you're going to draw one card from the forest deck and add it to your hand. And if you have no cards, you get to draw two cards to your hand. Mm. So... When you are doing your actions, you can play at most one mystical being card from your hand. That includes these unicorns. These are mystical beings. Or you could find a dwarf or an elf or an ogre or a werewolf. Now, certainly you don't want an ogre in your stable. But you know what? No. When you play a a, a mystical being, you can put it in anybody's stable. Okay. So I'm going to put that ogre in Steph's stable. No. Because, you know, she deserves it. I you, do? So, you can do as many actions as you want, but you can play at most one mystical being. You can also play at most one mystical potion, like, hey, maybe the, these poisonous mushrooms, to get rid of that ogre mm. that I just played into. Sounds smart. Yeah. Um, but I can also discard, maybe discard her elf. Rainbows and glitter! Well, yeah, because this is... This is another mystical potion. So that's totally Steph's. That's the rainbows cards. and glitter one. I was like, hey, that's that's like your little game ratings. It's got the little cloud and the okay. rainbow. So anyway. Um, you can play any amount of mystical magic cards from your hand. For example, a halt basically can stop someone else from playing. You can... You would want to play this whenever a player tries to play a card from their hand. Oops, nope, it didn't work. <laughs> um, what else do we have here for Mystical Magic? Oh, how about the Unicorn Thief? So, I could steal a unicorn, play one of my unicorn. Ta-da! No. Yes, that would be a win. It's what we call that in the industry. And you can activate the abilities of all mystical beings in your stable. And then, at the end, you will discard down to seven cards in your hand. So do you have to activate the mystical beings? Uh, so this, this is the thing. You, you, um, the ogre actually makes bad things happen. So you must activate the abilities of the yeah. of mystical beings. Like the ogre, if one or more ogres are in your stable, discard two cards from your hand at random. No. If three or more ogres... Two or more ogres are in your stable. Choose any player to discard two cards from their hand at random. That's not, not as bad. You. <laughs> no, that's even that's so one one ogre ogres. bad, two ogres good. Okay. So you get Shrek and then the Mrs. Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're happy. And what was her name? I can't remember, but yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um. So uh, you can also play in teams. So. Well, we're not going to be playing on teams. Um, Fiona, thank you. So yeah, uh, werewolf. He like eats other people, uh, uh, other uh, creatures in your stable. It's yeah. Your... <laughs> so, six each, huh? All right, here we go. Let's go to the overhead. Whoosh. All right. Here's my like handy dandy player. Oh yeah, aids. there's a little handy dandy player aid. Tells me everything I do. On my turn, I will search for the magical forest. There are three steps. The draw, action, and end. All right. I'll My let first. you go first. Sure. Because I won the other day. That's true. All right. Draw. At the start of your turn, draw one card from the forest deck and add it to your hand. Yes. If I have no cards, I draw two instead. All right. So. From the 
discard pile. There's no discard pile right now, so that card is not the greatest. Uh, should there be one? I don't think so. Let me look. Nope. Place the forest deck to form the draw pile. So, no, there is no discard. Hey, Derek. All right, I'm going to play. Hey, Teddy. The Majestic Unicorn. Oh, more games, please. Just rated. Oh. We should probably, probably acknowledge that, even though we're in the middle of <laughs> this video for Flame Welcome, Point Games. Welcome, Raiders. We will, hey, you know what? That actually fits Magical <laughs> Unicorn Quest. We are playing Magical Unicorn Quest. This so you did a Mystic Unicorn? I did. Hey. I'm going to play this when a magical unicorn tries to enter a stable. So the unicorn oh. thief is going to block it from entering the stable and instead it goes over here. No. Oh. oh, yes. It's one of those so, games. Like, so I can play a magical potion. Uh, you can play one and only one magical potion. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> Pixie dust. Add a card from your discard pile to my hand. All right. Seems good. And I can play the mystical magic that... Take it back. Uh, play it when it enters oh, a stable. Oh, so I'm ready for when you have it. play your second one. Yes. I could steal it away. Yes, that is fast. correct. All right, I think that that's correct. it. So at the end phase, discard down to seven cards in my hand. Done. Done. All right, I draw a card. Ooh. Oh, look at that. There's, there's, there's some <laughs> unicorn poo in the chat. <laughs> oh, my God, Tony. I saw I saw um, Ambie <laughs> making that the other day on her stream. She was I making that it. rainbow unicorn poo. <laughs> so colorful. <laughs> um, two. Oh my God, Ross, are you raiding too? Everybody's raiding, or Ross was raiding before. Ross, more games, please. Thank you for the raid. I'm, I appreciate you guys. What were you guys playing? So I am going to play. All right. I'm going to play a dwarf. And then I'm going to activate the dwarf. Right. If one or more dwarves are in your stable, add a non-unicorn mystical being from your hand to your stable. All right. How about this elf? Oh, that seems pretty good. What does the elf do? Dee, 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 dee. No, that's what does the fox say. Um, if one or more elves are in your stable, draw a card from the forest deck for each elf you control. Okay. So it's not really clear... Whether by doing the dwarf and playing the elf, I could then activate the elf. Mm. I know you can only you can activate these only once per yes. turn. That I'm sure of. Um, I think, but you do them both. Uh, even if I put this in there right now, I'm guessing. Yeah, Let's see. activate. You, when you are searching the magical force, you must take one of the actions listed on each that is in your stable. You get only one action per mystical being species and you must take the action so i'm going to draw one and then i am going to discard boom all right i'm going to discard this no i don't have to discard anything because i only have five i'm done yeah you're good so it's i you. draw i draw cards Oh. I'm going to turn mine around so everybody can see them since I don't really have to see mine right, right side up. So I can I use can the it. unicorn food. Move a mystical being from your stall to my stall. No, I'm going to block that. Oh. No. So I can't do that again. And then I could play one being. So that's another thing that is not quite perfectly clear. If I block it, have you played it? I would say, yeah, I played it. So if you play it from your hand and I blocked it, maybe that's the yeah. only chance. If one or more dwarves are in my stable, add a non-unicorn mystical being from your hand to your stable. Seems good. I'll do the elf like you did. How about that? And then you're going to get to draw one per elf you control. I have one elf. See, you're only going to activate these each once. Probably is not going to matter if you don't have to, like, tap them. No, I'm putting them face up like oh. that. So they can see them too. Oh, they can see them. All right, so it's you. Tis me. What? Magical unicorn quest. Uh, I'm going to play this mystical potion. I need you to give me. What? All copies of Rainbow of uh, Unicorn Thief 
from your hand. No. Oh yes. Oh look, here's a golden unicorn. But I, my, my thief. <laughs> <laughs> but your thief. Oh boo. But your thief. I got. I have no. You mean like this thief right here? Yeah, like that thief. <laughs> well. I hey. was saving that for a rainy day. Yeah, like this rainy that day. Unicorn. Like this rainy day right here? Yeah. Boom. Ugh. <laughs> well. <laughs> Owen! <laughs> Michael wins this uh, magical unicorn quest. Magical unicorn quest. quest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's how it's played. Very yeah. simple. Yeah. Not difficult at all. No, just read the cards. Yep. And do what they say. Got some interactions and stuff. Yep. So, okay. yep. Be back in a second.